Hi, I'm Matt from SurveyTech, and this is a short video about machine control. Specifically, what is it and how does it work? Now, the first thing to say about machine control is it's a bit of a misleading title. Actually, it's more like machine guidance, and the control of the machine remains with the operator. How are you doing? This is Pat from Pequin Construction. He's one of the most in-demand operators in the whole of the UK for his deft work with the bucket. And we're luckily going to be able to see inside his cab and see exactly what it's like for an operator to use machine control. So as you can see on the screen, it's following my bucket up and down and from the arm. So it's telling me my dig depths to the millimetre. So it's on green now, it's at the dig depth. Just bringing the arm up, it's telling me to come down to get to the correct dig depth. So that's machine control, a screen inside the cab showing you where to dig. It's a bit like sat-nav for the car, except there aren't any road signs around and you're driving a massive heavy excavator that needs to make precise movements. Without machine control, you'd have to hire a site engineer to come and survey the site and then put in pegs and batter boards. He can create a digital model of the site in the office, upload it to the cloud, send it to Pat, and he can just get to work. But how does it work? Well, there are two GNSS receivers, which are the little dish things up there that give you a satellite position. And then there are a series of sensors like this one up the arm and on the body for pitch and roll. And they're used to calculate the exact position of the bucket at all times. And it doesn't just guide, you can also use it to survey. So if you need the national grid coordinates of uh, a pipe that you're gonna uh, cover over or a position you need to come back to, you simply put the bucket over it and save the point. It's as easy as that. You can survey the points uh, with the corner of the bucket, either the left, middle or right, and then literally press a button on the screen and it will save that point. So there we have it, simple, easy to use technology that allows Pat to get on with what he's good at, building golf courses.